Hey guys, good morning and welcome to my channel. So guys, I got up this morning and I was getting ready to do my, um, spend my little time with God, my Jesus and me time and I decided to just quickly film me and what I do. Um, really the focus is on journaling and like how do I go about journaling, right? Um, as I have shared in many of my blog posts and on Instagram that journaling has been very therapeutical for me, right? So um, let's get right into it. What you see here, I'm going to get into these two books, but first uh, these are my felt tip uh, markers which I love dearly these are the paper mate brand um, I have like so many colors in these as you can see well they're a mixture of stuff here but I have different colors in these and these are great I use them for my planner and I use them for um, journaling as well so the first book both of these I got for my birthday by the way which I truly appreciate and love from some dear friends of mine this first one is a prayer journal for women it's a 52 week scripture devotional and guided prayer journal you guys this prayer journal is like so good and it's like amazing beside being beautifully designed and everything um it has 52 pages and just the layout uh the way that she created it was just so great right so i'm just going to show you how i use this in the morning now i don't use this every morning okay guys there are sometimes i would just uh, go into my bible and then there are times that i would just use this or and then there are times that i would do both right so um this is what i did before and the they have the scriptures so they're like 52 scriptures and the first one is james 1 19 and it says my dear brothers and sisters take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to anger so there's always a scripture um for each day that you use to meditate on and you learn the scripture for the entire week so how this is set up it's by week okay you could do it um weekly yeah we want scripture every week so you can really um you know let it register in your mind in your heart and especially in your spirit right so she has a section here which is the reflect uh thank you teach me guide me things on my heart highlights and prayer requests so quickly the reflect section um she would ask you for instance it says here okay have you ever formed and perhaps even shared an opinion about something only to change your stance once you learned more about the subject have you ever lost your temper or jumped to a conclusion how did these experiences make you feel god calls us to listen thoughtfully to be slow to speak and to keep our tempers under control are any of these things difficult for you why do you think this is um, have you shared your heart with God? So basically this section you're going to use to reflect off of the scripture So I had a lot to say as you guys could see here um, Yeah, so I just went back to my past in situations whether it was on my job Whether it's in friendship whether it's in my marriage or whatever ministry in times when I was not uh, quick to listen but I was more of uh, ready to speak and I was angry when I should have done what James 1.19 said. So I just reflect on where in my life the Holy Spirit revealed to me that I could have done a better job. Um, this is that section here. And then you would go over to Lord, thank you. So you would begin to thank the Lord for um, each and every day. You could write a little piece at a time and you would just begin to thank the Lord for whatever he has done or whatever he's doing in and through you or you know anything like that what you are grateful for and then we have the teach me section here um how okay i'm just gonna read what i said but <laughs> yeah the teach me section you would whatever you feel like you need the lord to teach you you know you would write that down in this section so it'll always be before you and as well as guide me because you know sometimes in life we go through so many things and we really don't know what's next or we may be going through a tra transitioning season like i am and you would ask god to guide you in certain areas of your life that's what this is for things on my heart this is so cool and so important because i have recognized and this part here for me is what really journaling is also about as well it's a space where you can 
uh, write what is ever on your heart or is in your mind because if your mind and your heart is clustered and it's filled with so many thoughts and things that are like bothering you or situations that have happened or things that are hurting you or whatever in your life because of circumstances of things that you have currently or are currently facing it is so good to write it down if you don't have one of these I have my other journal which I'll show you just begin to write it down tell the Lord how you feel because being honest it's not every time guys that you feel to open your mouth and pray there are times when you're going through stuff and you just don't have the words you don't have the strength or the words to open your mouth to say something I'm just being real so that is for me how it is um, I was kind of like introduced to journaling um, I began to journal when it is like I didn't have the words to say but the things were on my heart but I just couldn't bring them out because either I was going through disappointment or hurt or I was just tired right so this is really good to do, uh, getting rid of everything that is in your mind and in your heart so that when you truly get ready to pray or worship um, after this, however you would do it, um, your mind and your heart will be somewhat clear, right? And then we move down here, we have highlights, um, whatever highlights have, may have happened to you in that week, uh, that God may have said something to you, the Holy Spirit may, may have said something to you that would you would consider a highlight, I would write that here, and then prayer requests. And then, like I said, it's 52 uh, pages with different scriptures and stuff like that. And in the back of this, she has prayer requests. So you have your prayer request, prayer date, and date answered in here. So I actually love this. This is like uh, one of the best birthday gifts I've ever gotten. I, like I said, I believe it's on Amazon. So I'm going to just double check and I am going to leave the link down below for you guys. Next, we have my Bible. Oh my God, I got this from my classmate. Um, she gifted me this for my birthday. I was I was so grateful and so thankful for her. Um, shout out to Eden, girl, I love you. She got me this Bible. It's an NIV, um, the Woman's Study Bible. They also have the King James Version in it, and I will get it later on. But I got this for my birthday, and I love this Bible so much. Um, so beside going into the journal which I just shared with you guys, I would usually, sometimes I would go into my Bible and I would read whether it is, so like I've been on Matthew and um, also Proverbs, so I would read like maybe five chapters or as the Lord would lead, it could be ten chapters, it could be two chapters, it just depends on the flow of the morning or the night or whatever, I would just read the chapters and then I would highlight um, whatever stands out to me. And with that, I would go back after I had read the chapters and I would start over and then I would pick the scriptures, like one scripture for that day that stood out for me. If I feel like doing two, depending on it, because I don't want to do too much where I wouldn't be able to remember and I really wanted to saturate in my heart and in my soul and my spirit. So I would pick one um, scripture and then I have my, I have so many books, guys. I have this notebook and then oh this is the other book that I was telling you about hopes and dreams that I just use for journaling like random stuff like when things are on my heart or things are bothering me or I might be feeling some kind of way I would always journal in the morning to get my mind clear and just tell the Lord how I feel whether I'm hurting about a situation whether I'm confused or whatever it may be I would just begin to tell the Lord in that book and uh, what I also do um with this book here, I would, okay, so I, I'm on the spirit of wisdom, and I have been in Proverbs, right? So let me just get to it for you guys. Quickly, I would go to Proverbs, and I would take, so it's already highlighted here because I've already done it, but I'm just showing you guys what I do, okay? So as you can see here, um, this is Proverbs, and the... I read the, I think I read about uh, maybe 15 or could be 15 chapters in it already. And I just started over and right now I'm on um, 132, right, which is, let's see, here. So, here, for the, the waywardness of the simple will kill them and the complacency of fools will destroy them. So what I would do, that really stood out to me. 
like I think I memorized the others but this one really stood out to me because of where God has taken me in my life and certain things that he's has been ministering to me this particular one stood out to me so what I would do is I would write it usually I write the scripture over even though I'm reading it even though I highlight it I would write it over because that's just what works for me I think it's better when you write things over it kind of helps you to remember it so I would write it over and then um, I would read the scripture and the words that stand out in the scripture like it says here for the wayward of the of the simple will kill them right um so i would highlight the words like wayward and then i would um highlight the words complacency and then i would go and look up the definition of them and um i would memorize the definitions and really try to get a bit of understanding of what uh the writer was saying in this particular scripture and then i would um just go over it go over it and then i would write down what exactly um, the Lord may be saying to me concerning this particular scripture verse and I will just carry that scripture verse in my heart for the week or however long I feel that I need to until I really really get it so and that's basically it and then I would begin to worship God uh, then I would speak in tongues and then I would just begin to pray and I would just allow the Lord to you know minister to me however he feels <laughs> led to so that's basically it guys i just wanted to come on and quickly share um what i do when i spend time with the lord in the morning time and like i said sometimes i do this at night it's just like random for me so we're, we're gonna say this is like my i guess my morning jesus time <laughs> routine this is what i do i hope you guys enjoy this um, stay tuned for more videos concerning things of the faith and inner healing and just my journey of God taking me through that healing process. I thank you guys so much for um, uh, clicking on the video. First of all, to watch this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Um, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye guys.